Hello and welcome to this quick grab. In this one, we're going to look at the concepts of simple versus compound time. So to do that, let's take a look at an example. First of all, let's look at the time signature of 4-4, probably the most common time signature. If we consider the simplest bar that we can form, four quarter notes, for example, or four crotchets, we can kind of think of two of these beats being stronger than the other. The first beat being the strongest beat, and the third beat being slightly weaker but still a stronger beat. And then we have the second beat and the fourth beat that we think about as weak beats. If you look at this, this concept groups each of these, um, these bars into a sort of two beat pattern. So we have a strong beat, weak beat, strong beat, weak beat. So a simple time signature essentially has that grouping, a two beat grouping. So let's look at an example of a compound time signature. For example, six, eight, probably the most common compound time signature. In this case, the simplest bar that I could write would be six eighth notes or quavers. So let's write that. And straight away you'll see that this is grouped into three. And the reason for this is we have this strong beat here, slightly weaker, but still a strong beat here. And then these two beats in between, which are considered to be weaker. So now we have a grouping of three as opposed to the grouping of two that we had before. So compound time signatures typically group into this structure of three pulses per beat, as opposed to a simple time signature, which groups by two. Another thing to keep in mind for compound time signatures is the top number is always divisible by three with one exception. So examples of a compound time signature would be six, eight, because the top number is divisible by three, nine, eight for the same reason, 12, eight, and so on and so on. The exception to the rule is three, eight. So a compound time signature the top number is divisible by three unless the top number is three itself. So for example, three, four, even though the top number is divisible by three, is considered to be a simple time signature, not a compound. Compound is any time the top number is divisible by three and not equal to three. Anyway, so I hope that helps. It's a reasonably simple and straightforward concept. Um, just remember, simple time signatures, we're dividing into this two beat pulse. Compound time signatures dividing into a three beat pulse. And for compound time signatures, the top number must be divisible by three, but not be three. Anyway, as I say, I hope that helps. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, share the video and I'll see you in the next one.